Hello everybody, welcome back for another Combat Comms episode. Uh, this is the Christmas special, although I've uploaded a lot of these in December, I uh, felt that I had to do one more. So we have a big ol' uh, King of Fighters special, Team of Psyche versus Team of Nests uh, by Lucas, and he has a just so many of these are just insane. But but if we get this menu out of the way, you can see that Ignis is definitely definitely chilling there. So basically, uh, you can barely read this. So excuse me, we've got Mukai, Magaki, Psyche, Dark Ash, Chrysalid ninety nine, Zero, Original Zero, and Ignis. So yeah, and Chrysalid does start off in second form, I'm pretty sure, but there you go. So you gotta go. Okay, this is gonna be loud as balls. Actually, I could turn this down instead, and I could have that up. Cool. There you go. So this is some generic uh, Mugen Horse balls. Okay, Chrysalid getting that. Wow, Chrysalid's hitting everything. But then again, Mukai is a big. Oh wow, Chrysalid got that super out? Jesus. Well, Mukai does some damage, but Chrysalid gets the combos. Okay. Wow, that thing has got invincible fucking ability. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Chrysalid did pretty good there. Uh, you know what? That was more evenly matched than I thought it would be. Chrysalid versus Mukai is a pretty... Honestly, a pretty even match. I mean, it's not the most even match in the world, but, I mean... It's more even than some of the horse shit I've seen before. So, there you go. That was pretty interesting. There you go. I'm hearing noises in the background, and I don't know why. Alright, so we got Magaki coming in. Which I hope is really, really difficult. Yeah, this Magaki's really trying to get in close. I don't know why. Alright, I tried throwing out the super, but Chrysalid blocked it. Oh, wow! Okay, Magaki is gonna start doing his t his typical bread and butter stuff. And there you go. See, when Magaki does what he usually does, he will kick your ass. Because he's just a motherfucker who throws everything he's got at you. No matter what it is. Alright, so we've got Clone Zero coming in. So, here we go. Or maybe I can just throw the goddamn camera down. That's what I can do. Here we go. Alright. Do not use the space bar. Just keep my hand away from the space bar. Alright, so Clone Zero is coming in. Oh. Oh, wow. That does a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, that was, that was frankly too short, so whatever. There's Psyche, and he's starting to be a jerk. Oh, wow. Wow, this black hole super is really helping out Zero right here. Wow, Psyche is not standing a chance. I mean, your only hope is to stay far away with Zero, because apart from some projectile stuff, you know, and that black hole super, you know, you're only getting in, so... I guess the only chance they would have is to have a Dark Ash kill everything. So there you go. Yeah, uh... Zero... I don't know, man, just... If Psyche was able to get in his projectiles and whatnot, he could do some damage, but... 
I guess Zero was able to do some stuff out of it. Okay. Okay, okay, so he's in counter mode. Oh, wow. Yeah, my Dark Ash does not do things like that. That's why... I... That's why I did never include uh, Dark Ash or, or Psyche in the arcade mode, because... That would just get obnoxious as fuck. But then again, they aren't that good from my end, but, uh... This Dark Ash put in the... Oh, Zero has a Reflector. Okay. That's interesting. Well, I mean, he's not really reflecting the projectiles. He's, like, converting them into his own projectile. Either that or he's canceling he their multi-hit projectiles, which cancel through his projectiles, I suppose. But that's gonna kill via chip, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but they give Clone Zero all those tools because he can't crouch. Clone Zero can't couch. Cr can't, can't couch. He can't crouch. So, you know, that's why he has all that stupid shit, like Reflector, you know, uh, that reaching under move, uh, you know, the Black Hole Super, like, all that is probably because uh, they had a non-crouching character designed. And they had to do that, which is why, if you know Goodman from Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, that's also why he's designed to um, cover, like, all range. Because, in theory, like, you could sweep lock him because you... Like, if his AI, if both Clone Zero and um, uh, Goodman didn't... Cr uh, didn't you know, attack constantly and didn't, you know, block as much as they do, then you could just, um, take them out by sweeping because they have no check for it. They have, they have, they would have no check if they didn't have all those tools, which is why Clone Zero and Goodman are designed to be so cheap, because they cover, they're covering their own weaknesses by being so goddamn annoying. <laughs> That's also why the um, early Mortal Kombat bosses were the way they are, because they don't crouch. You know, they also don't crouch. I mean, maybe if you count certain motions they do, and maybe like Shang Tsung when he switches characters, but that's different. So, there you go. There's just some uh, tidbit of, um, that's like my video game expose for the day. Let's watch the, let's watch the matches. So we've got Original Zero coming in, which he has as Strikers. Which means technically Chrysalid's back in, but that's because he's a striker. But we also have Glaugen and Ron as, as strikers. Or Long, if you do prefer. By the way, I'm pretty sure Original Zero also can't block, can't crouch too. But there you go. Uh, Zero is making excellent use of his strikers. Unlike me, where I barely use strikers. But, you know, Dark Ash can really get in the combos. Uh, wow, they really nerfed. Grizzlids tornado. Wow, Ron goes in for the unhealthy strike, but you know, Dark Ash doesn't care. Now the problem is Dark Ash is Dark Ash. Dark Ash has no health left. He doesn't have any health. I mean, depends on how much he gets on, um, heal, but I'm pretty sure that coupled with the fact that he has to fight Ignis, I'm pretty sure Ignis has got it in the bag. So, yeah, Ignis is back in another Combat Comms episode because, God damn it, Ignis always seems to show up in these fucking things. Angelic. Ignis is so angelic, even though he's... A fucking asshole. Alright, so Dark Ash has got half a health bar to try to take out Ignis. Which, oh yeah, Ignis can't crouch either. So yeah, literally, can can none of the Nests era bosses crouch? Huh, that seems to be a really running, that seems to be a running theme with KOF bosses. A lot of them can't crouch. Huh. It's pretty interesting. Heck, some of them can't even jump. You know, um... Goodman can't jump, uh, I know Ignez can jump, I'm pretty sure Original Zero can jump, I mean, I could go back if I wanted to, 
I know Chrysalid obviously can jump. You know, just... It's super weird trying to analyze... Like, before you even look at their special moves and their supers, you just have to look at their movement patterns because, you know, someone like Ignis, like... You, uh, his AI can be annihilated if you sweep him. Like, if you get him into an AI loop, that that's it. He's done. He, he can't kill you if he's a computer. Now, obviously, in human hands... um. Ignit can uh, try to prevent that. They can actually prevent it to the best of their ability because um, there's a lot of tools set in place where, you know, uh, Ignis can really fight back and, you know, try to hold his own. But depends on, but, you know, the computer in 2001 utilized a lot of his tools, but not to their maximum potential because, as you can see right here, like, Fuck, god damn it. Uh, like right here, <clears throat> Ignis is probably just gonna wipe the floor with with him. Like, see, there you go. Instant uppercut right there. And then, okay, he got hit by the super, but which does pretty much no damage. And then he has that. That's a screen. That's like a full screen, pretty much. Apart from if you jump over him, I guess, which even then it would take president over that. Dark Ash is just throwing fireballs, but of course Ignis has the um, delightful strategy of just blocking it with his goddamn annoying ass shields, and then instantly burns through, blasts the thing. This is really close, actually. I thought this was gonna be a sweep. Yeah, Ignis's fireballs fucked up. I want to do that. I want to figure out how you do that. I probably could study Ignis a little bit more, but yeah. So there you go. Uh, what's the windscreen like? Does it say winner? Yeah. So there you go, I'll just have it on the screen because it looks a whole lot prettier. So there you go, uh, there's my deep little expose about boss design. Um, but that was actually a lot closer than I thought it was. Uh, the definite big players there were... <coughs> <coughs> Magaki and Dark Ash, and then... Um, I don't know if I want to say Chrysalid. I mean, Chrysalid took out... Okay, he just took out Mukai. So, it was definitely, um, Clone Zero and Ignis that definitely netted him the game. So, when I say I have all the, um, Ness era bosses in red, I technically am lying because I don't have Original Zero in there, but the thing is, Original Zero is a sub-boss, not a final boss. But, you know, count it as it may, he's still in this. Which, I mean, for a red exhibition match, it'd be pretty interesting to try, to try my own version, because my AI are different. Because I'm not sure if my Magaki is as good, if not... Like, I might have, like, a similar tier version to that. Uh, the Chrysalid I have is also on par with it. W with this, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure. I mean, I could look up the beginning, because it was Chrysalid's profile... Right? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I have something different. Okay. Um, my original Zero is probably different because I don't remember if he has the Strikers. My Clone Zero is definitely different because he doesn't have the meter. So, yeah, my Clone Zero and Chrysalid are different. Uh, but I'm. I know for a fact I don't have that Ignis because he's not that much of a fuckface. And then I'm not sure about original Zero. And then the Mukai, the Psyche bosses. Mukai, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't have that UI stuff. Magaki, I'm also not sure, but he has a tough AI regardless. And then Psyche and Dark Ash are questionable. So, I mean, I could mimic this for, like, a light version if I were, if I were to do that. But, I don't know. That That's a, that's a video for another day, and that's for my video game. So, there you go. But anyway, that was an interesting video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a merry, merry Christmas, and... I cannot wait for this year's fighting game freak out because it's going to be a bit of a ride. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.